Hello again, viewers of Twill.tv. I come at you again today with something new and different. I'm embarking on a little bit of an adventure, so to speak. Some companies now are doing, I, I don't even know what to call it really. We've got something we call it at my work, but uh, Google I think is the one that sort of started it, where it's an 80-20 rule, where they do 80% of the time they do normal day-to-day -day work, and then 20% of the time they do pretty much whatever they want to. So in their case, in the Google case, like Monday through Thursday, from what I understand, they do normal day-to-day -day Google stuff, and then on Fridays they do sort of whatever they want. Pick a new project, try something new, learn a new programming language, learn a new spoken language whatever you want to do, sort of. The company that I work for embraces something similar. Previously, we've done it in such a way that it was two days out of every, I think it was two days every other week, something like that, we, we would uh, do these, these days of do whatever you want. But now we're doing it as a solid week. So we have one week out of the quarter that we can do whatever we want to. You can do stuff that works on your current project, you can learn something new, you can come up with some new and innovative way to do something you're already doing. Something, I'm really fond of this whole idea though. Just coming up with something completely new, completely different, stretching your limits, trying new things. And so, for this week, what I'm going to be doing, and I just thought I would include you guys on this because it is free and open source related, I'm going to learn how to develop on Ubuntu Touch on Ubuntu. As you can see there, I've got my Ubuntu desktop set up in the background. I had some problems out of it, so I just wiped it and reinstalled fresh. And I've gone ahead and set up the Ubuntu SDK, so I'm going to really quickly go through with, in a screencast and show you how to get that set up, how to get an initial project started, and maybe in a week I'll come back and show you my results, what I've come up with, if anything, and just let you know how it went. So as you can see here, I am now on my Ubuntu desktop that you were able to see in the background of the video just a moment ago. And as you can see over here, I have my Ubuntu SDK, which is actually Qt Creator, Qt Creator, whatever you want to call it set up already, but I'm going to just quickly show you how I got to this point. If you go into your browser, in my case I'm using Chrome, but you can also use Firefox, whatever, doesn't matter. Go to developer.ubuntu.com slash get dash started. Here you'll see Go Mobile, you can join the phone and tablet revolution, get the Ubuntu SDK preview and app design guides. Get started now, we'll take you right down here to where you can get the Ubuntu SDK preview. There was a bit of an issue running this command for me. I'm on Ubuntu 13.04 64-bit, and on my work machine when I set this up, it didn't exactly work right. So I talked to the guys who are who are actually developing all of this, and it turns out this command was not included originally. They added that in. Everything's working beautifully now. If you're on a daily release of Ubuntu 13.10 though, you can just apt-get install Ubuntu SDK. But for people on older versions like myself, sudo add apt repository, Ubuntu SDK team, and then apt-get update, apt-get dist upgrade, and apt-get install Ubuntu SDK. You can just copy this entire line, take it into a terminal, paste it in there and hit OK, hit enter, whatever, give it your password, and after a few seconds, it will add the repository to your system, it'll update your system, and then it will install the SDK, making sure you have everything. Of course, it's gonna pop up and say, do you wanna do this? Just accept it all, it'll be fine. <laughs> and after it's all said and done, you can go into your menu, search for uh, SDK, Ubuntu, whatever else you wanna search for. There you go, the Ubuntu SDK is now available. So, now that I've opened the SDK, this is the Qt Creator. You get this Ubuntu splash screen with all sorts of things you can do. If you want, you can create a new project here. And the problem that I had before, this option was not available. All I had was other project, non cute project, and import. But now I have Ubuntu applications and libraries, specifically uh, in the case of the option they give you on the, the getting started page. It says create a simple touch UI. So I'm going to choose that one. You give it a name, I'm going to just call this one first project. And as you can see, I'm creating my first project here. I'm just going to put it in the default location. Actually, no, I'm going to put it in my code directory because I just prefer to have everything kind of saved there. And then, yeah, project management. If you want to add it to Bazaar or Git or whatever else you've got installed on your system, you can do that. In my case, I'm not going to bother. Then hit finish. And there you go. You have an app. You're ready to go. Everything should work. If you want to test it out, here you go. You've got the play button. Hit that. You see here it's running QML scene and pulling up this first project. And there you go, you've got a simple beginning project. Tap me says hello world. There you go. So this is creating just a quick app using Ubuntu's new SDK. Uh, this same kind of application you could run on top of uh, a tablet or a phone, hopefully. Uh, you've got some different things in here that I'm not really gonna go into. 
spacing and anchors, uh, width and height size stuff in here. All this can be customized, of course. You can add custom functionality into everything, and that's the kind of stuff I'm going to be going over and learning in the next week. So hopefully I'll be able to, to learn quite a bit, show you the results when it's all said and done. Because, honestly, a large part of the reason I want to do this is I want to be able to contribute to some Ubuntu Touch-related projects. Canonical just announced uh, that they're going to be working on an Evernote client for Ubuntu Touch. So I volunteered to, to try to be on that project. We're going to see if I get accepted. My QML abilities are very limited. I can read code, of course, but I don't know how to write it yet. Uh, C++ I've done, but it's been a little while, so I'm just rusty. Uh, and so it's going to be a little bit of a, an effort, a little challenge, but I'm going to see what I can do, see if I can help out in any way. But that's going to be about all for this video. Let's hand it back over to Jordan from the other video. So yeah, hopefully that's helpful to you. If, if Ubuntu Touch development is something that you're interested in, maybe you can go ahead and give it a shot now. As for me, I'm going to go ahead and dive in head first, see what I can come up with, and I will probably be back with you guys in about a week just to let you know how it went. As always, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button down below the video, subscribe to receive my content as soon as it becomes available, share this video with your friends if you think they're interested in developing for Ubuntu as well, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye guys.